Hey guys, it's Jack Jack and welcome back to the vlogs. So I mentioned in I think a plan with me video or you know what honestly I can't remember maybe it was a vlog but I mentioned that I was trying out cash envelopes for the first time this month and it, it, it's been it's been an interesting experience but I think I want to continue doing this um, because I feel like it will help me with like managing my money and finances and all that kind of stuff and I wanted to show you guys how I made these cash envelopes so let me first show you what I had been using for the month of March just these regular big old bulky um, envelopes and then I just you know kept my money and receipts in there and I just kept this along with my wallet in my purse and like this got messy just like kind of always flipping through to see like which envelope to grab like it just got messy in my purse so I wanted to make my own that were a little bit smaller that still fit the money obviously like the money fits in there but all of these cash envelopes can also fit in my wallet so it fits nice and snug and um, yeah so that's what I'm going to be trying out for this upcoming month and I thought it'd be fun since I have like all of my supplies I made these like just now so I thought I would show you guys how I made these um, I think they're so cute and you just open it and you can stick your money in there and they all have their labels I know that there are different ways to use cash envelopes and I kind of just personalized it to what works best for me so I have one for spending which is like really anything I want clothes um, beauty really anything so spending um, food and that goes for like dining out and groceries so that's all just like in one category gas I have my tides here or like my tie like my offering for church and then bills a lot of my bills are online but some of them I like have to go make payments at the bank or um, do a cash payment so that's what this this guy is for so that's what I am going to be using I love these patterns I'm obsessed so I am what blah, 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 blah. so I'm going to show you guys how I made them um, I have these four different like construction paper oh they're so pretty Oh, I need to call my sister because my sister Caitlin wanted to do the cash envelopes too. So that's what I'm making. I'm making my sister's right now, but I need to call her real quick. Katie! Caitlin! What? Which side of the paper? They're, I didn't realize they're double printed. Is is it these top ones that you want? or this So this is the one, this is the one. Oh, you want this one? And this one, yeah. this one, mm -hmm. and then this one? Yeah. Okay. I guess the word side. Gotcha. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. I will be making these. Thank you, Kylie. Okay, so now let's get down to business. My printer was acting really funky, but this was like the best like printout I could get. I just went on Google and typed in cash envelope template, and I found this. It was actually longer. Um and wider but again my computer was acting a little janky so this is the best we got but we're still going to make it work i'm going to show you guys what i did so you take your printout of the template and whatever construction paper that you want this looks really cool you're going to go ahead and lay it down and then this i have like this little plastic play knife i, I I don't really know what to tell you. Like you could use the end of a pencil or something just to like, we're going to like draw against this or like outline it to indent the paper on this side. At least that's what I did and it worked for me. So, and I just, I already had this guy. You could also cut this out and just trace it. <laughs> you could most definitely do that as well. I don't know why. Why didn't I think to just do that? So when you move it, you guys aren't going to be able to see this. Oh, and I can barely, uh, I can kind of see where the outlines are. It's gonna be really hard for you guys to see on camera, but when you're, when you like bring it up close, you can kind of see where to cut along. But again, if that's too challenging, you can very easily just cut this little template out.
Okay, I know I'm like all over the place. My bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and trace this out. So we have that outline. So now you wanna just go ahead and take your scissors and cut that out. Okay, so once we have that, you wanna go ahead and flip it over and go ahead and begin folding. I like to start at the little side tabs right here. And it's super easy to figure out where to fold because you're just following like the cut of right here. So you want this to be completely straight. So right here, we want this to be completely straight. So we're just going to line it up right here. Like so. And then this one, you wanna fold where it ends right here. So, so right where these little side tabs end, that's where you want this next crease to go. So we're gonna fold that up. Gonna fold it like that. I'm gonna use this to just, just flatten it. I do need to cut this part just a little bit. So there's like a little bit of trial and error with this, but this is just like a quick little DIY. It's not the most perfect cash envelopes, but it's a cute little way to customize your envelopes. So then we want to fold this tab over. And ta-da, we have a cash envelope. Just wanna make sure it's all even. So there is what this one looks like, and I'm just going to I'm just gonna grab some money real quick. Before I glue it down, I just want to make sure that it fits perfectly in there. So that is good to go. Let me just throw that back in. So I just take a glue stick and you want to glue down these little tabs right here. I'm just trying to get the glue as close to the edges as possible so that it lays down and holds really nicely. Then just fold this down, hold it down for just a few seconds. Then you wanna take some scrap paper, which I have some over here. Okay, I have some scrap paper here. I'm just going to cut across. And so next I have this little punch guy here. This is actually an envelope punch board that you can use to create your own envelope. I tried using this, but I couldn't seem to figure it out. I just kept having troubles and I was wasting so much paper and this was like a way easier option for me. But on the end of it, it rounds out the corners. So that's all I'm using this for. Okay, cool. Just gonna put that aside, throw away the little scraps. And then this, you wanna glue to the front over here. So that way you can write and label 
your cash envelope so you know which is which. How pretty is that? So here is how you make the cash envelope. Oh, this is really pretty with the design on the inside. Okay, let's go show Katie. Katie! Here is your first cash envelope. What do you think of it? Looks good. What are you going to write on here? And look, I think it's so pretty because the inside has a pattern too. Mm -hmm. I mean, mine is just white on the inside. But since her paper was double-sided, oh, that looks really pretty. So I'm going to continue making these for my sister, Caitlin. But I just wanted to share with you guys how I made these in case it helps anyone out there. Um, again, I just found any random template on Google Images and just printed it out so I could trace it. And that is it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time for my juice, my celery juice challenge with Johnny. That will be my next vlog. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.